morning, y'all. JT the Barber here, man, back live and direct. We're gonna do a beard uh, enhancement today. So yeah, let's get to it, man. So we're gonna begin using our uh, Gam Absolute Trimmer and be begin to make an L shape, edging the back and the bottom of the beard. So again, using our Gamma Absolute Hitter Trimmer, we're gonna begin the top of the blend. Pretty much what we're doing is a reverse blend. So now we're gonna grab our shaver and begin to shave above our first initial guideline. Now we're gonna grab our prototypes unreleased and begin the re reverse blend. So this is a no guard open and close lever. bottom of the blend and begin with the one and a half open guard again open to close and we're going to use our one open to close and then our half open to close guys when you do a reverse blend it's very important to use the corner of the blade and be very very meticulous you know what I mean picking out any little dark spots that need to be touched up on Now we're going to begin to do the same procedure on the uh, other side. If you do one thing on one side, do the same thing on the other side, guys. You know what I mean? Bada bing, bada boom. talking too much unless if it's a podcast in this case it's a tutorial video but if you haven't already make sure to subscribe like comment i'll at you boy So now guys, we're gonna grab our comb and we're gonna go ahead and debulk the mustache. I always do this before lining up someone's mustache. It makes my job much easier. Guys, again, being very meticulous around this, uh, the mouth region, I like to make everything as symmetrical as possible. Again, guys, the more uh, you know, you pay attention to detail, the more that your work is gonna stick out. Now we're gonna. Grab 
grab our stray razor again 30 to 45 degree angle um, do a nice even consistent strokes away from the skin that you're stretching guys make sure to be very very careful you never want to take too much off we're just taking away the stragglers and shaping the beard So now we're using Just For Men. I never really see anyone use this. I always see people use Beijing or Kiss. This actually lasts, this is like a, a higher tier permanency. This lasts about a week. out light it starts off light and it gets darker and darker and darker as it dries
check my palms to see if it's too hot. So now we're gonna apply a hot towel to do the next shave underneath. Guys, when you apply some sort of um, shaving gel, or shaving cream, and you apply multiple hot towels, it's going to make your job much, much easier. So now we're going to um, straight razor shave the top of the lip. I never really see people do this ever. Um, again, I like to do it because it adds more detail, more depth, and it makes it more defined. So now using a hot towel, we're gonna get rid of the color enhancement. Guys, you can't have this on your skin for too long because it's then gonna irritate it. Um, maybe cause swellness, so only apply for about 15 to 20 minutes tops. And there you guys have it, man. A color enhancement beard by yours truly, JT the Barber. Again, make sure to subscribe, comment, like, holler at your boy, man.